Good afternoon, friends and family of Graham and Gail, and welcome to their wedding ceremony today here at beautiful Valley of Fire in Nevada. Graham and Gail, I am most humbled to have the pleasure of presiding over your marriage ceremony today. I know a lot of thought and preparation has gone into this moment. And I'd like for you two to face each other and hold hands. So Gail, if you would hand off your bouquet, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'd ask you to join hands as a symbol of the union that you two are making to one another today. And I'd like you to think about the hands that you're holding. These are the hands of your very, very best friend, your soulmate, promising to love you and to work together as you build your future together. These same hands will give you strength when you need strength and tenderness when you need tenderness and, of course, love when you need love. And, and of course, these same hands will hold all those whom you love and years from now still be searching for the same hands, seeking the love and the encouragement that you both require from one another. And so here you are today, all the way from England, to say your married vows to one another. And I know you both realize how important these vows are and, and what they mean to each of you. Among two of those things, of course, are love and respect. And with that in mind, I'm going to ask you both the following question. But first you, Graham, do you take Gail to be your wife, to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her for as long as you both shall live? I do. And repeat after me. I, Graham. I, Graham. Take you, Gail. Take you, Gail. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to be. I promise to be. A true and loyal husband. A true and loyal husband. <clears throat> I do this because. I do this because. I will love you today. I will love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. I will love you forever. And Gail, are you ready to say your marriage vows to Graham? <laughs> and also answer the same question. Gail, do you take Graham to be your husband? I do. To live together in marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him, in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Repeat after me. I, Gail. I, Gail. Take you, Graham. Take you, Graham. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to be. I promise to be. Your true and loyal wife. Your true and loyal wife. To love and honor you always. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't repeat that last night. To love and honor you always. <laughs> to love and honor you always. I do this because. <laughs> I do this because. I also love you today. I also love you today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. And forever. And forever. Can we have the rings, please? Throughout time, the ring has been a symbol of unending love because like time, it has no beginning and it has no end, of course, an unbroken circle and that represents eternity and also your rings are made of materials that will not tarnish and that also symbolizes the pledges you two are making to one another today. And so, Graham, go ahead and put Gail's ring on her finger. Repeat after me. Gail, I give you this ring. <coughs> Gail, I give you this ring. As an outward symbol of my love. As an outward symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. I have chosen you. To share my life. To share my life. And Gail, go ahead and put Graham's ring on his finger. And repeat after me. Graham, I give you this ring. Graham, I give you this ring. As an outward symbol of my love. As an outward symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have also chosen you. That I have To share my life. To share my life. Graham and Gail, in a few minutes I'll pronounce you husband and wife. But before we do that, if you could just consider a few additional words and thoughts. And I'm sure you've heard these all before. <clears throat> First and foremost, make your marriage something that you cherish. Because when you cherish something, you spend lots of time and attention perfecting it, right? 
And you know, a strong marriage is rarely two people being strong at the same time. It's never 50-50, always 100, 100%. And both of you just give everything that you've got. And as my grandmother would say, never let the sun set on your anger. I'm sure you've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> and last of all, it's growing old together because yeah. marriage means having a best friend and being in love for the rest of your lives together. And so, Graham and Gail, you have said your marriage vows to one another, witnessed by your family and guests. And you have sealed your vows with the giving and the receiving of the rings. So now, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. You are now married, and you may kiss your wife. Yay! 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 Thank you so much. That was lovely. It was really nice. Perfect.